Okay, another video from Wooden Math. What I want to do today is show you how to add type 3 fractions using an area model in conjunction with the usual procedure. So let's look at this problem. 1 half plus 1 third. We'll start attacking it. If we want to attack it procedurally, we'll start by circling uh, the larger the denominators, acknowledging that we have uncommon denominators. Can I turn the 2 into 3 with multiplication? No. So circle the other. Put them both up here and multiply them. 2 times 3 or 3 times 2 equals 6. Now, once you do this, that will become your common denominator. Let's do the same thing visually. So if you look at this array, I've taken a graphic organizer that looks familiar. Here's a six-pack of soda. Well, how are the cans arranged? 2 by 3, or 2 times 3, will give us six of these cans. So what I'm trying to do now is say, look, can we convert these, can we convert these fractions? So one half of that six pack, yeah, look, it's going to be three cans, three out of six. Let's do it procedurally. Take this two, how do I get the six? Well, I'm going to have to multiply it by three. Also multiply the numerator by three we'll get 3 6 same as in this picture here's half of the 6 pack one half in terms of cans is 3 cans out of 6 let's look at this 1 third and think of that in the context of a 6 pack so it's a third of a 6 pack well how many cans so we've developed an array here by multiplying 3 by 2 to get 6 and if i want to look at 1 third well one-third in terms of a six-pack converts to two cans out of six. Procedurally, I'm going to multiply by two and get two-sixths, same as I did here. So one-third times two-halves will be two-sixths, again mimicking that same procedure, but making it look like this array. 1 times 3, rather. 3, 2 times 3, 6. So we're converting 1 half of a 6-pack to cans, where it comes 6 to make a whole 6-pack. That'll be 3 cans. A third of a 6-pack would be 2 cans. All you have to do now is add the cans. 3 cans plus 2 cans, 5 cans, and it still takes 6 to make a whole. Let's look at the same type of idea, but we'll use something less semantically engaging So, to make sure it applies to everything. So I've got one-half plus one-fifth. Denominators are different, so I'm going to have to find a common multiple between them. So circle the larger. Can I multiply two by something and get five? No. Circle this as well. Two times five. Well, that's ten. That becomes your common multiple that you use for your common denominator. I've done the same thing using this area model. So the denominators were 2 and 5. I multiplied them to create this array of 10. If I want to shade 1 half, well, I can. And what portion of this rectangle is going to be shaded? Well, what used to be 1 half, we're going to rename as 5 out of 10, 5 tenths. 1 half times 5 fifths is 5 tenths. So here we have it procedurally. Here we have it in the area model so we can process it visually. And over here, let's do it within the problem. 1 half is equal to, well, times 5 times 5. Let's remember that 5 fifths here is a fraction, meaning... One. So I'm renaming one half by multiplying it by one to get five tenths. So what do I do here? Make a rule. Well, I've already established up here that I have to make that five twice as big. So I'll make the numerator twice as big as well, multiplying by a fraction two halves. That's worth one. One fifth is going to be ten as the denominator, two the numerator. Okay, okay. let's add the squares. Five tenths plus two more tenths would be. 7 tenths.